For the lesson on making your jumper wires for your array, let's take a second and step away and review that electrical schematic diagram that we have available to you for this uh, course. If we look at the electrical schematic, we recall that we have our top string number one and then the bottom string number two. We're going to have to make a jumper wire A indicated here that goes all the way from the left and brings the circuit all the way back to the array junction box. We're also going to need to make a jumper B that does the same thing for the lower string. And since it's physically down a ways from the array junction box, we need a jumper C to bring that one back up as well. We're going to need three jumpers for this system. So let's go ahead and work on making jumper A. So coming back to our simulation, uh, we already have a length of 24 feet of wire that's been cut for us already. What we want to do is strip it. So we bring out the tool bring out our wire stripper tool and click on that to strip off the end of the wire to begin the process. Then we bring up the MC4 crimper tool and we're going to place. First we're going to make for the female uh, uh, MC4 connector. So we insert the metal insert piece into the crimper jaws themselves and then grab the wire and insert that into that metal insert piece. Then you get to actually just press on the handle, crimp the device, and it crimps that connector tight onto the end of the wire. Then what we can do is take our female piece and slide it on. And the idea is that you want to slide it on until it clicks to make sure that it's connected to that metal uh, insert. And then we use the MC4 wrench, put it on the device, rotate it to tighten up that strain relief nut that's at the back. Gives it both waterproofing and strain relief. And we're going to do the same thing for the male connector. We bring up at the other end of the wire, we bring up our crimpers. Then you want to again insert the metal piece into the crimper tool and then click on the wire to insert the wire into the metal insert. Press on the handles to crimp the device, make the crimping, then again move the piece onto the wire until it clicks, and then you'd use the tool to tighten it on. And that's it. That's how you successfully complete making your jumper wire. And we'd make the other jumper wires as well. Hey, thanks for watching the training video using Interplay's simulation-based training program. You can keep watching our solar videos by clicking on the link to your left or stay up to date on our latest solar snacks by subscribing on your right. To learn more about how the STP provides critical team training and helps you build an onboarding program at your company, please go to interplaylearning.com.